Hello and welcome to yesterday's airlines. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new airport accessories by JC Wings, specifically these Airbus A320 front fuselage sections, which have been produced both in 200 and 400 scale. But since I'm a 400 collector, I'm only really looking at the 400 scale version. So as you can see, you've got the box here and they come in quite a nice box actually. Um, Slightly Gemini-esque, and it's got a front flap here, which you can lift up to see the inserts. You've got some images of the way things are going to fit inside your Beluga XL. And there's really not much point in getting these unless you do have a Beluga XL, obviously. Um, but nonetheless, you can see that they come in the usual kind of plastic packaging. And there are actually five parts to the accessory group here. And you can see that there are two sets of fuselages and components. So if we get out the, um, the one that's left in the box here, and let's have a look at what the set comes with. Obviously, firstly, um, firstly, you've got the fuselage itself for an A320 lacking the nose cone and cut off here just beyond the start of the wing fairing. It's it's very nicely shaped. It's you know you see it's in primer green. Lots of quite nice detailing, even though it's a very very small piece. And you can see interestingly also you've got the the hole left for the implantation of the nose gear, which is a nice touch as well. It's not just solid. So this is actually quite realistic, and um, and I think matches quite nicely to what uh, JC are doing with their actual A320 mold. And we'll have a look at it in comparison to the actual 320 soon. You can see there's even some printing detail on the back here, um, even though this area is not supposed to be really represented because as you can see, you've got these uh, protective covers which um, go on the real thing and enable you to actually uh, place on the, the model here. So it slots on a little bit clumsily, admittedly. And then you've got the front one as well, which goes on the nose cone and it's got a little bit of text, which is so small I can't read it, but um, Obviously, the rear one has got the bigger text saying Airbus A320, and it's got some kind of part number as well. So again, you can just slot that on here. It might be handy um, to put a little bit of blue tack on sometimes, especially if you want to get these exactly straight. But there we go, and that's pushed on quite nicely. And then, of course, you've got the cradle, which comes in two pieces here, a bigger portion and a smaller portion. and and the fuselage just sits on top of these so I think perhaps around that kind of line there and then perhaps under the doors for the for the um, the forward portion here and you can see that it sits very simply like that now the one criticism I would have of this is that it is actually quite difficult to get it to sit nicely on the cradle and it's difficult to put you know, any blue tack or anything um, because it's, it's kind of visible. So that is a little bit uh, annoying, but you can see that um, it's probably not that big a deal because it's unlikely they're gonna have it sitting out on the uh, on its own like this very much. Um, these are obviously made to fit inside your Beluga XL um, and I happen to have one here with the other um, sitting inside it. So you can see here how it looks if you plant the, uh, the A320 insert inside the Beluga XL, it looks pretty good. Um, obviously you don't get to see the rear end, which is perhaps why you might wanna have one out and one inside, but it looks really nice. Um, you have to be really careful moving your model around, obviously, because it's not actually fitted in in any way, but you can see that it slots in the space really nicely and looks really, really impressive. Um, it's quite weird because I've obviously got the primer Blue Grey XL and the, and the primer A220 here, but um, but yeah, you can see that these look really nice. So I think that it is a really cool idea that they've come up with, you know, and they've certainly gone one more than NG models have with their Blue because obviously you can open the door here and have it open. You can now have the insert as well, which is which is super cool, super exciting, um, adds a lot of interactive. Um, play style to it and, and just a lot of interest for people, you know, when they're looking at your collection, um, they already look at this kind of weird model, but now they're gonna be seeing, you know, something really interesting poking out of it. You know, I think it looks really good. So I was super pleased when, when JC 
showed that they were going to be making these inserts because I think that they they really do add that little bit extra to your um, Beluga XL model when you've got the door open. And frankly, who doesn't display it without uh, the door being open? So, you know, overall, I think this is a really nice idea and it's been really well executed. And the only criticism, as I said, is that it's a little bit difficult maybe to get the, um, the cradles to sit nicely on the A320. Um, maybe they could have done one where the cradles were actually attached. Um, though you could always glue them in place, I guess. Now, interesting comparison with the actual JC A320, if we have a look at um, one of those, and I don't own huge numbers of them, but I've got this quite nice spring air version. Um, and you can see that it, it looks really good. I mean, basically, I've probably just taken the mold of the A320 and they've um, put the, uh, cut it to make this. Um, it looks pretty much the same size. It all matches quite nicely. Haven't really got any major issues at all with um, the way this looks in comparison to their standard 320 mold, I think they've done a really good job there. So, you know, overall, I think this is well worth getting. If you've got a Bluger XL, um, and I thought most people have got one by now, um, maybe not the JC one, maybe they've got the NG one, but even with the, the, uh, the NG one, you can always display it, I guess, outside. It's a, it's a really nice kind of additional feature and kind of evident of the sort of, you know, cool, interesting, high quality work which JC is doing to make, you know, the hobby quite a lot more fun, you know, um, adding features like this to um, models along with their flaps down, along with having the doors open, along with interactive 747s. I mean, these are really cool and interesting features they're bringing to the scale. So all power to JC. I think they've done a good job here. Okay, guys. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick look around these new Airbus inserts in 400 scale. As I say, I think they're a winner. Um, I think that they add something extra to your collection and they look really good. So if you enjoyed this um, content, don't forget to give the video a like. Don't forget to check out my Instagram at Yes to Airlines and obviously on Facebook. And the basis of my work is obviously the website, yesterdaysairlines.com. So always have new and hopefully interesting material for you guys, give you the latest in 400 scale. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.